While progress has been slow due to other academic commitments and the inability of one of our members to be present for group meetings, we have utilised additional communication channels such as Skype and Steam's chat functionality to ensure that progress continues to be made and that the entire team is kept informed of developments. We have now finalised our concept and have also begun preliminary work on building sprites for various assets within the game. Everybody in the group has their individual roles in the creation of our game role. With Daniel Riley doing the game sprites and animations, Nathan Paddock and Daniel Redfern doing the game's level design and creation, whilst Harry Brown and Nathan Haithwell will be doing the engine programming and game maker. With each person in the group specifically concentrating on a singular area of the game's design, we hope to make the game not only polished and visually appealing to look at, but also fun and enjoyable for the player, and we hope that the creativity each member of the team brings to the game will be something that makes it stand out. The idea for a game is that of a horde mode where the player assumes the role of Raoul, a Mexican characters, who will fight against waves of differing enemies over a number of distinct maps and attempt to reunite with his family. The enemies that the player will encounter throughout their journey are the rat, the chef and the alien. These enemies specialise in different areas of combat. The chef and alien are specialists in melee and range combat respectively, while the rat is a blend of both melee and range combat. The levels are to be those of the restaurant, the street, the swamp, the prison and the alien spaceship. These levels contain unique mechanics for diversified gameplay. Certain levels allow the player to hide from enemies for a short time, whilst others provide potentially advantageous elements for the player may interact with. Some levels contain undisclosed mechanics for the player to discover. The game has been designed to be simple and yet difficult to play, with the player being able to sustain a limited number of attacks before they die. The player must survive 15 waves of enemies, although we plan to add additional difficulties who will at least add to the number of waves that the player must survive. In this section we will be looking at the mechanics of the game that we've created so far in the engine that we have made. Uh, firstly, I'd like to point out the reticle that follows the mouse whenever it's moving around. Next I would like to look at the movement, which is a simple left right up down on the arrow keys left right up down and notice that the sprite is always following the mouse where it's going I suppose we've got it so it can rotate wherever the player is moving to help with movement a lot more help get a lot more sharper shots in so far we've only got shooting in and no melee mechanics because it'll be a lot easier to test with with the shooting at the moment and we can get the melee in when we've got the animations for it. The next uh, mechanic I'd like to look at is collisions. There is collisions with benches, tables like this. There is collisions with walls, so the player can't just walk through everything. And as you see there's no collision with the floor, you can move anywhere else you want to on the map. Uh, next is shooting. The bullets go wherever the reticle is pointing to because it wouldn't really make any sense if it didn't do that as that is the target that the player is aiming for. Uh, lastly is an environmental effect that we've got already. Uh, this, the table, can actually be knocked down and used as cover from any side that the player wants to. Uh, however it also has health so if you hit it enough times it will go away like so and it will not come back so use the player will need to use them quite wisely and thank you and this is it for the second video hope you enjoyed